right, here we are in the scrapyard. One off builds headquarters. We're here for a little walkthrough, a little inside scoop. This is where most of the magic happens, this is where it started. Got a little tarp here. Here, let me, let me open her up. Grab a beer. Join me for the ride. Oh, it's pretty much a miter saw. Super ghetto. No one really uses them anymore. But, uh, you know, if she gets her done, you can, uh, you can turn her so she, she feeds like a table saw, some angle cuts. Good finishing blade here. These are kind of pricey, but, you know, save her for the clean cuts. A little off cut of some Ditra here. Uncoupling membrane for the tile. Goes underneath, makes off the Schluter. Lay her down. Got the all set right down there. Pick this good stuff up from Home Depot. She goes down nice, nice 12 by 24. Give her a good back butter. Lay her right down. Space it properly. Make sure she's level. I went off build. You know, we uh, try and uh, upcycle a lot of stuff. So. Up this door here off of marketplace, so this will be a nice upcycle. This boat here was pretty clapped when we got her, looked a lot different. Slapped some fiberglass on her, gave her a fresh coat of paint, and now she's going to be the roof of our new sauna. We'll get to that over here. This sauna is going on a boat. We're going to build out a dock with some pontoons. This is another uh, another upcycle, another reclaimed sauna here. She's gonna have a wood stove in there. We got that uh, 12 by 24 porcelain tile. The boat that we saw earlier is going up top, so that's gonna be the roof of the sauna. That'll be pretty sick. The oars here. Did you just do a? Yeah, a little tour of the shop, a little tour of the sauna. This is a sauna that we're uh, building for a friend in oh, Canmore. Um, we kind of did a, a bit of a strange design here with uh, this wall being at an angle. And basically the reasoning behind that is it saves material and that it's kind of like an amphitheater seating. You can still seat a bunch of people inside of here because it gets wider up towards the top. And when you're sitting at the top in a sauna, it gets hotter anyway. So you can really cook in this one. <laughs> Uh, this design was drawn on SolidWorks, or no, 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 uh, it was on Fusion 360, Autodesk. You know, great, Benny, Benny and I company. just sit around the dinner table, talk about what works, talk about what doesn't. We've built a couple before, so, uh, you know, we're kind of learning the ropes, but, yeah, that's how she came together. What day is it? Two days goes by, and the oh, yeah. job gets done. This one still needs a front door, a couple fascia boards, and, uh, metal roof and metal siding. Shouts out to Prairie Summit Tile for hooking the boys up. Said that they are thin gaps or a new wave. You don't want no thick gaps. No, it's not going to be good. Because we bought them like this, right? Mm -hmm. And then just like to make it so. The 73 <laughs> unknown patina truck bed here. She's on a trailer. We can uh, tow her up the to tow feet. Rocks from the beach. They say you're supposed to use like sauna rocks specifically, and we on all the saunas we sell we do that. But since this one's for us, these are just ones from the beach. <laughs> this one's pretty hot, if you want to feel it. <laughs> oh yeah, she is warm. Show them the view. Yeah. 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 You should probably say this is the homemade bill though, hey? 
everything from like is a person. I gave the side stoke on the wood. This one here is really <laughs> where this company started. Uh, we started building this sauna in the basement of Maple Street, Kelowna, BC. <laughs> Benny welded up this stove himself. It's quite homemade, but uh, you know, gets the boys sweating and, uh, and really no complaints. And, 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 and the ladies. <laughs> really nothing else to say about this rig other than uh, it's not for sale. Personal. Strictly personal use. Personal. Yep. Conclude the MTV cribs. <laughs> what do you, do you want a cappuccino? No. Okay. <laughs> You're whipping one up? Yeah, what do you want? What's Jackson's easiest for you? Yeah. Caramel macchiato. I'll take a cappuccino, cappuccino as well. Yeah. She's firing yeah, on I'll take a all, all yeah. cylinders. This is, this is for support. <laughs> I'm not copying. <laughs> Don't you bro, for Hardy, if you don't mind. Just one cappuccino. Just if you don't mind. No, bro, bro, take it, bro. Do you want, like, a Otrid, like another roaster. Oh, nice. They're roasted in BC. When it just starts up, you want to, like, flush it a little bit. Get some hot water running through before you run one through. Oh, he's making Okay. Nice cream from the espresso shop. Then when you, when you use this, you want to flush it a little bit, make sure it's steamy. It was creamier later. Dude, I already know this. This thing Henry's making is gonna go off. <laughs> I love how he has like mats in here as well. Is yeah, this a stick and peel? Uh, it's vinyl. Vinyl, eh? Right on. Shit. <laughs> Just drops the cup. <laughs> That's a face. Yeah, yeah. Smiley face. Does this face. pop up in it? Oh. It's still. <laughs> oh man, that is delicious. You like that? That is, that is a good cappuccino right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Solid yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10 Completely for sure. Yeah. Come on. This is it? You nailed it. This is better than Starbucks, let me tell you. Is that a ghost? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Appreciate you guys coming around for the one-off Bill's Inside Scoop. We're about to hit the town. Finishing off this saw. Catch you next time. Peace. <laughs> the hot seat. Oh, yeah. You got to perform here in the hot oh, seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, say whatever you just yeah. said. <laughs> you see my front door. You seen my kitchen. You seen where I eat. You see my bedroom where it happens. You see my wife. It's time for you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so good.